Okay. <laughs> it started. <laughs> oh, I have to be over here. Hey everyone, we are glad to be back. I am Jen Olson and this is my husband. John. <laughs> John. <laughs> so today we are gonna jump on and um, we're going to show you a quick and easy way to either meal prep or get dinner on the table. Um, John just informed me he has never made rice before in our steamer, which means, oh my gosh, I've made it like a thousand times. So he needs to be taught so that he can be the one making it for dinner time now, right? Where Plus, does rice come from? I don't know. Where does rice come from? I don't know. A field. Yes. Yes. Field. <laughs> It comes from the grocery store if you ask him. <laughs> so we have um, some jasmine rice here and he is going to show you how to do that. And then after that, while this is cooking, I'm going to show you how to prep a rotisserie chicken um, that I just purchased a regular chicken at the grocery store um, that's organic, free of hormones and all of that stuff. Um, and we're going to show you a very healthy way to make it. Um, so what are you doing? No lid, you said, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no lid. So our multi-purpose steamer actually comes with the trivet as well as the steamer lid. Um, for those of you who may be new here. Um, and today we are going to do what? We're going to put rice into this one cup prep bowl. Are you going to just pour it on top of the trivet no, yeah, or what? The trivet out. Okay. Got to take the trivet out first. I guess. Okay. And he's using the one cup prep bowl. All right, and what's so special about the one cup prep bowl? Ah, uh, if you drop it, it can break, <laughs> and it makes a huge mess. <laughs> I had that happen last week, I think. Uh, there's measurements on this side like, of it. Like literally, it shattered and it just went everywhere. Which is so, crazy because so be I've careful. I've literally dropped them with lids out of the refrigerator before. Like one and dropped on top of another one, and that's what caused the yeah. explosion of glass. He, yeah, he went to pull out a plastic. Um, a plastic container and like the whole shelf came with it so it just yeah but anyways yeah. so anyway <laughs> he has put one cup of jasmine rice in here now you can use um wild rice you can use um brown rice you're just going to want to adjust the time for those and i'll put um the steamer times um in this group so you are familiar with how long it takes to um make some rice as well there's other things listed on there so how much you put in there? Two and a half cups. So. Yep. Wow. Now, I usually you can base it on like what the instructions say. Um, there's times that I will do one cup of rice to two cups of water. It just depends on what specific rice, um, what specific rice we're using. So, okay. What if you're using like some type of wild rice? Um, it takes not so much extra water. Always look at the instructions but we do actually put that in there for longer. Usually I will put regular rice in there. Oh, just wait, you gotta put the seasoning uh, in. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. Like I said, it's his first time making yeah. rice in the steamer. This is a learning experience, so I thought it would be really good for him. How much of this? Come over here so they can see. How much of this? One, this? Just one tablespoon. This is ramen broth. Okay, this is a tablespoon. Yep. Oh no, you're, no. Doing, it, you're doing it all wrong. Oh yeah, that's right, you gotta scoop Yeah, it. what's the great I've thing? i I know, isn't this hilarious? He loves the fact that I cook in the kitchen now. He used to make all of our stuff. And he'll be like every night like, so what you making, what you making? So he needs to learn himself, that's perfectly fine. So we just came out with the ramen seasoning um, in our catalog for January and we love it. The great thing about Epicure is that we are low or no sodium. Um, so I don't know if you've ever looked at the prepackaged ones that you can get in the grocery store Holy moly, the sodium level is crazy high. Um, so this is just a really great way and it doesn't cut down on taste to be able to have the less sodium. Um, oh my gosh. It is for one serving size. I have a question. Yes. I need see, my readers and I don't have see them. See these little pieces that are still dry, is that okay? Or is yeah, that's fine. Sure that so I can... usually put one tablespoon in here, just stir it up. Now. We chose to use the ramen broth, um, and the reason why I like to use the seasoning in the actual steamer is because as it's cooking and the moisture absorbs into the rice, you get that flavor in the actual rice. Another favorite we've done, we've done guacamole seasoning. 
yes, guacamole is guacamole, but we also use the seasoning on eggs. We use the seasoning on rice. We do avocados. John doesn't like avocados, so a lot of times we'll even mix it with um, like four ounces of cream cheese and four, not cream cheese, four ounces of sour cream um, and make like a crema with it to put like on tacos and whatnot. So now what are you going to do? What you going to do, Apparently John? Apparently the trivet now goes in on top. Yes, it does. Just right side up, normal. Yep. And then it goes in the microwave, right? For 12 minutes. 12 yep. minutes. Now, again, it's based on what your microwave is. Um, there are, there have been times, like if we do a wild, wild rice, it's like 18 minutes. Um, so definitely check the consistency until you figure out like what the specific time is for your microwave. Um, the reason why we put the trivet in and no cover is, is the trivet actually um, helps to not only keep it, you know, prohibits it from boiling over. Um, so, I mean, that's the main reason because a lot of times it's like, what happens? Even if, if you put something on the stove and you put a lid on it, it's going to start boiling and sputtering and kind of running down the side. So the trivet actually helps to um, act as that barrier. It is vented all the way through, so the steam does come through it, um, but it helps it to cook that way. So the next thing we're going to do while that is cooking um, is I'm going to rotate you here. We are in our RV kitchen, as most of you know. so. It's, it's a, a small space. It's, it's small always like, space. do you want to dance? <laughs> yeah, we, we do like um, the fire drill around the car. Around the <laughs> that actually does lines. happen. He's not. He's not lying. That happens a lot. And then you get the three dogs running underneath of our feet, and it's like it's fun. But um, you saw we actually have the seasonings, but we also have meal solutions. And what these are are pre-packaged seasonings. So, for example, this is one for rotisserie chicken. Maybe you're a bad cook, maybe you're a good cook, maybe you're just bored with the same stuff. Did you just say you're a good cook? I'm a good cook. What are you a good cook of? Uh, grilled cheese, hamburgers, um, Kraft macaroni and cheese, ramen noodles. Do you see why Epicure has been such a blessing in our lives? I can make hot dogs, hot dogs on the grill. <laughs> See, this is no joke. Like, seriously, I won. I love trying, like, all of the things. And he's had, like, five food groups, we call it. Tacos, which you forgot, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tacos, burgers, spaghetti, pizza. pizza. That's about it. So, in an effort to eat healthier, um, which we were on that whole journey before, but once we found Epicure, oh, my gosh, it, it has been such a blessing. It's like, so we have rotisserie chicken. It tells you on the back exactly how to make it. So maybe you're somebody that just doesn't know how to do anything like this. Um, that's great, but I've also used this on fish and grilled it on um, the grill before. Actually, he grills it because that's, oh yeah, I can do that that's, too. that's his thing. <laughs> we put it on a grill. grill. We put it on a grill plate and it actually is absolutely delicious. But that's what I love about the meal solutions is, is you can kind of mix and match. I mean, we're doing general towels. Yeah, he went outside of his Good. Yeah, he loves General Tao's. Now, he would never have tried that if it weren't for Epicure. Yeah. And obviously on the back it calls for chicken, but we also have made it with steak. Um, what else have we? Uh, beef and broccoli. We've actually made it with chicken before. I like that. Um, sweet. Oh, the sweet garlic chicken. Yeah, we did that yeah. the other night. And it calls for chicken. Um, and like I said, when I say it calls for, on the back there's recipe guides for those people who just don't know how to cook. And, um, that sounds amazing. Yeah. He doesn't like sweet potatoes, so we actually put it with just peppers. I diced up a bunch of peppers, tossed it with peppers and chicken, and then we made rice. Um, do we do it with steak strips once too? Um, no, that would be the Philly cheese steak. Okay. So, so good. many, so many different options that we absolutely love. But he also brought up that Kraft mac and cheese. Have you ever actually looked at the ingredient listings? I don't know about you. I've been. Um, I've been an, a label reader for years. Um, first, when I was in my corporate job, um, we were in skincare, so we had to know ingredients inside and out. But for years, I've dealt with gut health issues. So the fact that I know that everything in here is healthy and good for me, we have a, a, what we call our never ever list, which I don't have it out, but it's a list of things we promise never to put in our products. You're not gonna have the high fructose corn syrup, no MSG, no parabens. Um, no artificial flavors, colors, and that makes me think of that when you said the mac and cheese thing. And you know what? Our mac and cheese is thebomb.com. It is so darn good. So, I'm going to show you real quick how to prep a chicken. Ooh, a bird. Yes, a bird. <laughs> so you can go to the grocery store. We all know that there's the little ovens that have the chicken that you can take out. Who knows how long it's been there, 
but I'm gonna drop a slide um, to just show you what the comparison is in sodium. It, it, I'm just sitting here when it comes to sodium it's like we need to take our heart health into consideration regardless of who you are what age you are I wish I would have started earlier instead of waiting until I was almost 50 um, but this is just an easy way to put meals on the table that we pick and choose the protein and we uh, pick and choose you know what you want for your veggies and stuff so as long as you have your protein you have your veggies regardless if you're vegan vegetarian you eat you know whatever you know in your diet that's great but this is just a way for you to pick a healthier version so I have picked something um, as far as a uh, chicken our round steamer will fit three to five pound bird is like the ideal size this is 4.6 um, when it's like a three pound bird you can make it in the microwave in 20 minutes trust me it's juicy but all of our silicone is also safe in the oven um, I don't think he's gonna fit in there I think he's gonna fit in there I think he is but this is also I picked a bird that was like hormone free you know it was has it follows all of the organic you know things so you I know see a chicken plucker oh stop <laughs> stop I am so oh, sorry I, was I apologize questions. to him in advance I said, how do they get all the all the feathers off the chicken because I was cleaning it and he was just like wow so I don't know if you guys have ever made a turkey or a chicken or anything but you always have to clean it because there's always you know usually some extra feathers stuck in there just the ends or um, I'm not gonna lie I don't know who was somebody in my family made the bird and did not take out like the giblets like you know there's always stuff stuffed somewhere yeah so that was fun <laughs> I don't remember who it was but that always makes for fun hey, memories good, I don't like chicken I don't he doesn't and, he calls and, it yard bird I'm just gonna I've, be honest I have eaten a lot of chicken since you started with epic here yeah I, I'm not a chicken he guy. is not a chicken guy he is a meat and potatoes give me all of the stuff that's bad for me I mean we're just being honest here because you know I like to eat healthier I am like he's got a shellfish allergy so that only limits us to fish because he can do fish but it's like I would do fish and chicken every darn day of the week he would do steak and burgers and brats and all of the stuff so on our healthy journey I have actually got him into eating chicken and the first time that let me just see where my scissors are here Oop, there it is um, the first time I actually made chicken in the microwave like made a rotisserie chicken in the microwave oh you said it wasn't gonna fit it yeah that's what I was just thinking it's upside down right now there. because I'm going to season this pack over the entire thing um, let me know um, if you are watching this if you have any comments below um, so that I can go back and respond to those um, so I'm just gonna take I opened it up I'm just gonna shake half of the pack on the back and just rub it around now I did kind of pat it dry I probably should have left it a little bit more moist and then I'm just going to take and I'm gonna flip it over so it's breast side up there make sure that and then I'm going to put the rest of the seasoning on yeah but the first time that I made the rotisserie chicken and the steamer like legit he was like oh hell no i'm not that's kind of what i'm thinking like how is this gonna turn out? <laughs> he's like there is no way i am eating a chicken not only the fact that it's chicken he said but the fact that um let me just wash my hands here it's the fact that i was also making it in the microwave and i know there are people that are just like oh the microwave dries stuff out or it before, makes it rubbery or things like I that would, i would do a little bit of grilled chicken mm -hmm. never legs or wings or right None but of that stuff. if I only if I could drown it in ketchup oh did you catch earlier for breakfast or brunch whatever we want to call it with the BLTs he doesn't like tomatoes but he's gonna drown it in ketchup <laughs> I give him so much just crap about that is so funny so anyways so I have the bird season here let me swap with you we're gonna we're gonna do the kitchen dance Da, da, da. <laughs> run around like we normally do see so it's completely seasoned there everything is tucked in and then as soon as this is done in two minutes 
um, I'm gonna put this in here because the bird is a little bit bigger I'm actually gonna put it in there for 25 minutes to start and then I am going to ins I almost said install I'm gonna stick it with one of those uh, meat thermometers so that I can see what the temperature is and then I'm thinking it's probably gonna take about 30 to 35 minutes because it is a larger bird um, I will definitely um, share when it is done what temperature um, should it be um, it should be 180 degrees, okay. which it does tell you on the back of here. Make sure that a meat thermometer um, inserted, the temperature reaches 180 degrees. John likes things a little bit more done. Um, so, and here's the thing though, I've put it in, I put our last okay. one in there for 35 minutes and it just, it doesn't ever dry out. And the reason why is, is it's in a steamer container. It has the vents right there and it actually cooks using the moisture, the liquids that are actually in the chicken. And you'll notice when you do, you know, remove it from the microwave, this is a fairly sturdy um, container, but you definitely have to kind of support it at the bottom because there will be liquids in there, um, just like when you make that turkey dinner. And it's actually fun to use those liquids and make a gravy from it as well. Um, so yeah, we're almost done. We have a minute 36. I want you to see just how light and fluffy the rice is. We make rice so much throughout the week. But the great thing that we like to do, especially on Sundays, is meal prep. And when it comes to rotisserie chicken, we know we're making a chicken that is fresh. When it comes out, we're going to be able to kind of, you know, take all of the meat off, divvy it up on what we're going to use it for whatever particular um, meals throughout the week. Um, a lot of times I like to take just some of the odds and ends and use it for soups. So I'll freeze that for soups. Um, I know somebody had mentioned that they'd like to um, do some freezer meals so that that's definitely something I think I'm gonna do next month is some freezer meals so um, we can all do that together that'll be a lot of fun so but, when the chickens done mm -hmm. what's the skin gonna be like is it gonna get the, all crunchy or the skin does actually end up being um, crispier on it um, it's wild. it is wild isn't it yeah so I mean I've We've done it in the oven, we've done it in the microwave, and honestly, there really isn't any difference that you can tell doing it one way or the other way. Um, we've even actually had people use the rotisserie season, seasoning and do it on the grill. So we've never done that. That'd be fun to do a beer can chicken maybe sometime. No, you're talking my language. No, I'm talking his language. <laughs> but when it comes to the rice, we do rice a lot. There's so many different things that you can do in the multi-purpose steamer, like we were saying earlier. Um, it used to take us an hour and a half to do baked potatoes. Now it literally takes us like eight minutes to do baked potatoes. It's crazy. There you go. Yep. I'm gonna just Careful, that thing might be hot. It is gonna be hot, I'm sure. And just like that. This I'm actually might. Grab her. Yeah, I need to look because it might need to go in there for an extra. Our microwave needs to be. I hot think our microwave right? is like totally Stein. dying. Stein. Oh, looks pretty good to that me. That looks pretty good to me. That's how we like it. So let me just move that out of the way there. And I'm just going to stir this up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, but a lot of times we'll even do double batches. Do you see that? Oh, doesn't that look absolutely delicious? How tall am I? I am 5'1". I am shrinking very fast. Um, I used to be like 5'3 and a half. But <laughs> I'm part Sasquatch. He's Sasquatch. He's a lot bigger than I am. <laughs> but anyways, so now I'm going to take and I'm going to put the, um, the rotisserie chicken in there. And then when um, that is done, we will jump back on to show you just how fast and easy it was. I just don't want to hold you on here for the 35 minutes that it's cooking. But you saw what the prep time for all of this was. Super simple. Great way to have... Um, extra meals or extra I should say protein and rice around for meal prepping throughout the week so I hope you guys join us back here in about a half an hour and I'm back John's taking a break and we are 20 seconds away from the rotisserie being done so I did end up putting it in for 30 minutes um, got out the thermometer here make sure that it actually is working That would be just my luck. Okay, the battery is working. That's that's a plus. <laughs> then I'm gonna get out my fancy schmancy Christmas pot holders. <laughs> I really need to upgrade these. It's coming. Christmas is coming. 
I don't want to wait till Christmas. <laughs> okay, make sure that you do use a pot holder because after all, it's been in there for, um, you know, 30 minutes, so it's going to be hot. And actually, I'm going to turn this around. I always like to take the lid off with the little vent holes away from me because that's why. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Just put that over there. Let me just bring this over here so you can see real quick and then we'll make sure. See that? Smells glorious. All right, so let's just put this in here. Just make sure it is. It always takes so long for it to go up, but I used to be the person that, oh, it's good enough, no worries, it's fallen off the bone. And I have had, you know, like some areas where um, the white meat may not be cooked thoroughly enough. So I definitely always like to check and make sure. And let's go in this area right here. Yeah, it's saying it's 210. So I definitely think it's, it's done. Let's just go over here, 203, 206, yep. This is definitely done. Okay, so now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just going to let this cool down. I'll take some pictures and post that, but just a fun, easy way to be able to make your own rotisserie chicken that is less sodium and it's gonna be healthier version for you. And then what I will do um, a little bit later, we're gonna pop on around dinner time and just show you what we do next. We usually just kind of take and um, partition it, I should say, for different meals and whatnot. And um, I don't know, we're going to get some fish at the, the fish market right now. So maybe I'll jump on and do some shrimp in the steamer or something world to show you that. Famous world Joe famous Joe Patty's Joe Patty's in Pensacola. That's where we are going. So thanks so much for joining us. 